I'm going to try and turn this into a trap cleaning car. It's just a cheap Bachman. Um, I don't know why I even have Southern. I don't model Southern and don't model anywhere near there. Just a train set car. So I'm going to see if I can convert that into a trap cleaning car. So first I need, I need something like that. Something cylindrical that can roll along the rail. Um, it's wider than than the rail heads, but it's narrower than the car, so that should work. I need this to be heavy, so it's what it is. It's a coupler for a half inch pulley pipe, so make it a little bit heavier. Let's cut a piece of pipe. somehow needs more heavy Okay. Packed full of nails. Now I want to get it sort of centered so that it balances. It's actually nice and heavy. Okay. Next step, make it stay put. I'm going to make these nails a permanent fixture. I'm going to overfill it and cut it down. Hopefully that'll settle down into there a little bit. Hmm. That's not quite cooled off yet, but it's it's firm enough that it's not going to stick to my fingers. So that is about that much. Kind of centered mostly. And once I prune all that off, what's that going to be? Put that much, which is Did I mention that I'm going to repaint this eventually? bottom here. Those trucks are just held on with a little split pin. Hello, light. Just a little split pin in the hole. here. That's fine. I like weight in the car. That's good. But it's definitely going to be in the way of cutting my hole in the middle there.
Ha. Ah. Let that cool off. Now that they're cool enough that I can touch them, I'll just knock the rough edges off. Not that anybody's ever going to see this, it's just so I don't hurt myself. There's the piece of weight. This thing's folded up so I can trim the ends. There's a square. Yeah, okay. This is going to get all glued together eventually to reinforce it because I don't think it's going to hold the way it is. But I'll mark this. Approximately. Okay, that's going to take a chunk out of that. Holding stick, Dremel, saw blade. That's more like it. And I didn't even hurt myself. That's awesome. So now all that's left to do is clean it up a little bit with a knife and pop that chunk out. Yeah, melted plastic. It's okay. I can cope with that. Aha! There we go. Get a bit more finesse than that. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I just square that up with a chisel a little bit. Actually, where's my. Okay. Yeah, I need to clean that up a little bit, but I think that's going to work. Well, that's pretty reasonable. Little tiny bits of chowder here and there to clean up, but that's that can happen along the way. Okay, and that still doesn't slide through there. Hmm. Let that clean that up a little bit more. close. Okay, I may have to end up just knocking those side frames right apart. After all that effort. Oh well, they're tight fit in there anyway. Well, that's made a mess. So the next thing to do is mark up the corners on that. I'm going to do that and drill that out too. I'll cut that out.
Now this time I am going to save the side frames because there is a lot of wiggle room in there. This little brace left, I think. Ta da! Ho oh, ho! That's nice. A little bit of squaring it up with the file. Need a big file for this so that it makes a nice flat, smooth surface. There, so that hopefully will roll along in there. Ah. I'm going to clean this mess up here. Now that that's cleaned up, carry on here a little bit. Um, get these weights stuck back in there again, back in their homes. I'm going to do that. It's a little bit of Walther's goo. Don't have a lot left of it. It's ah, almost stuck together. You know a good glue when you can't get the cap off. Now then, he doesn't need much. This is one of those adhesives that'll stick just about anything to just about anything and smell nice and chemical while doing it. It doesn't seem to attack most things. Put those over there. Actually, do I have some clamps? Hmm. Wait a minute. Yes, I do have clamps. Oh, perfect. Those will do nicely. Over there. What can I do while I'm waiting? Yeah, we'll spend a bit more time cleaning this up. So I want it to roll freely on the track. I don't want it to snag on anything. I don't want it to snag on the sides of this car. To roll nice and freely. As you watch more of my videos, as it, or if you go back and watch some of the old one, older ones even, you'll notice that I seem to be making it up as I go along. A good reason for that is because I am making it up as I go along, which makes it a real pain in the butt for me to edit later. So, okay, that's not going to be very good at track cleaning just the way it is as a raw chunk of copper because it's, among other things, going to short the track. So, we need a cleaning cloth for this is a generic version of J-Cloth, which I got at Home Depot. Um, why generic rather than the name brand? If you've been watching and paying attention, you should figure that out by now, because it's less expensive. asking a while ago about how to make this really expensive hobby of ours more affordable. 
and the general answer was stuff that you have to buy at the hobby shop to get there, stuff that you don't have to buy at the hobby shop, buy at the cheapest place you can, which is craft stores and, well, hello. No, I wanted a hair wider, okay. So, craft stores, hardware stores, eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, any of these places, shop around, keep your eyes peeled, and you can usually find something that's similar, especially when it's scenic material, layout building material. Uh, stuff like that doesn't have to be the most expensive hobby shop material in the world. So that I'll wrap around here in a bunch of layers. And if I've cut it the right width, there should not be any exposed copper. What have I got here? Three, four layers already thick. Okay. How am I going to keep that from unraveling? Let's try this. This is one strand out of a piece of Cat 3 wire. Cat 3 wire is basically your basic telephone wire. It's copper, it's 22 or 24 gauge, and it's got a plastic jacket on it for insulation. That's going to hold that on. Let's see if that'll, where's this track here that I can tinker with? Should. Oops. Flaps that way, so I'm going to want it to roll this way. And that should roll along there quite nicely. This doesn't have to wait forever. Those are clamped a little bit. That's set up enough. It's not fully set up, but it's close enough be able to glue those back into there now. They've got little locating pins. What I don't want is that to be under the... Oh, actually, no, the truck bus doesn't matter because the metal of the weight is blocking it anyway. Why isn't that going down? Those two ends different. They are. Okay. I can live with that. That'll do. Any clamps gonna work? No. So I just have to resort to clamping them with weight. Now I've kind of run out of things to do until tomorrow or the next day. Okay, a bunch of time has passed. That goo is going to be well and truly dried, hardened, cured, whatever. So those aren't going anywhere. For now, I'm going to ignore the horn hooks. Pretend they're not there. We'll just 
just see where that sits. Is that all going to be new with knit? Okay. Where is my... There it is. Okay, so... Oh, you dummy. What have I done? Have cut the hole big enough. Get in there. Hey, okay, need some reinventing. I think I have an idea. I'm going to put some bits of styrene in on either side of that is poking down to probably about just below the middle line of my roller and run them up into here and glue them on hopefully that will nudge that guy along then. so those have to be that wide. How wide is that in any unit of measurement? Doesn't matter. Cut the fit. almost fit. I'll trim that later. So I think I have it come pretty much the full height of the car. And I'm going to have it go down further than I need it at the moment. So that's about that-ish far. So, what happens if I do that, and if I do that, well that's interesting, they can just be on an angle. Oh, so if I glue those in at a kind of an angle like that, oh look at that, this rolls around so nicely. That's what I want. Okay, so I can I come a little bit higher? The higher I get these, the less obvious they become. Can I actually lift them up above the skirts? No. I need it down about there. There you need to uh, there we go. Already lost the original lid from when I chopped it up. That's not an issue. You can just about like that. That'll do. Messing up the paint. Again, don't care. I suspect eventually I'll repaint this into a CN um, brown or boxcar red or do a couple minutes of research and figure out what their maintenance away color would have been.
It doesn't even have to be a maintenance away car, really, though. I think mean, that's what it's doing. But real maintenance away doesn't have you know, this kind of track cleaning. This is just going to be an old riveted gondola running in the train. So I guess in the 70s there wouldn't be a lot of riveted gondolas still operating. So that's, yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. That's why it's going to be maintenance of way because it's just an old decrepit car that's in the fleet. Which means it can have piles of ties or, or any number of things like that uh, in it. Okay, let that dry. Uh, will I use goo? Will I use 5 minute epoxy? I don't know, something like that. And I'll put on there just to reinforce it. Five minute epoxy it is then. This is some really, really ancient Loctite Weld brand five minute epoxy. If I was replacing it, I would just use any, literally any brand of five minute epoxy doesn't matter. If I could find some at the dollar store, I would probably use that. If I can't, anything. Simple. Squeeze out equal parts of the white and the black stuff. Stir it until it's an even gray like the rest of these blobs on this mixing board. Streaks. Broke my toothpick. Ew, new. No. Oh, where's my jar of toothpicks? Oh my god. There's no more over there. Okay, that'll do. For some reason, Fine Scale Model Magazine has never called me. Can't figure that out. Let's see, don't subscribe to AVE's Maxim. The bigger the gab, the better the job. But in this case, it doesn't need to be pretty. The pretty stuff happens later. Ah, I just got a fingerprint of epoxy smeared on the painted surface on the outside of the car. Which means that my maintenance of way box car is going to have to have a dent in it, I think. Which doesn't really surprise me because that's the sort of thing that I would almost expect for a ancient out of the maintenance of way car. I have a method to deal with that. This 5 minute epoxy is already starting to harden up a little bit. So, even though it says 5 minute epoxy, I'm going to let that harden for quite a length of time. Another day, another step. My 5 minute epoxy's head overnight to cure. Those aren't going anywhere. Just scrape a little bit off here and there without taking rivets with it. But I'll worry about that later. That's cosmetics. So that's there. Hmm, okay. That's going to be a bit awkward putting it together onto the track. But not actually rubbing on the on the uh, towel. The problem 
is that wire that I put in there. Okay. New problem to solve after it up with something else. Fishing line. Who says your modeling materials have to come from a hobby shop? That's uh, rolling. Let's pick this up and you can see that it's rolling there. That's what I want. Okay. And there it is on the layout. So just put a bit of alcohol on the cleaning pad. Nice and saturated. That's just methyl alcohol, methyl hydrate, denatured alcohol, wood alcohol, 99%. Pure is the important part because if it's not 99% pure, like if it's 70% pure rubbing alcohol, what's that of the 30%? Oh, it's oils and weirdness and water and things that will be a residue. So, See if this works. Yeah, oh, there she goes. Okay, there it's run 10 plus laps, I guess, around the layout. Let's see what we've got here. Well, there's a little tiny bit of... Hmm. Let's put some more material in front of the autofocus. There's... A little bit, a couple little bit of browning tracks on there. You can see a little bit right in there. In there. So it's picked up some crud. I mean, I've cleaned the layout by hand fairly, free, fairly recently. If I combine that with my other track cleaning car, which is this guy, which has just the slightly abrasive hardboard slider on the bottom. Um, dampen, loosen a little bit, and then clean off, wipe off, run that in the train occasionally. That should just keep my layout nice and clean without me having to work at it. And I'm all in favor of not having to work too hard.